All right, everybody, we're going to start the class now, and this is for short videos on social media. Mostly, we're going to focus on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, because those are the platforms that are embracing short videos. Now, just quickly, a little bit about me. I'm the uh, marketing director here at the City View Keller Williams office. And for me, if I haven't met you directly, feel free to reach out and talk about your personal branding and the right strategy. But as someone who's very tapped into real estate here, okay, into the marketing in general for this industry in the platforms, you know, becoming an expert on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, all of these different platforms. Right now, short video is king. And that's why we're dedicating an entire class to short videos, okay? Short videos are king right now. The algorithm favors short video. Now, just a little bit of understanding why that is. It's because TikTok, TikTok changed the game. Now, that doesn't mean you necessarily should be on TikTok, although that's something you should consider. What happened is TikTok emerged on the scene with short videos. That's really all they did, okay? Taking advantage of short videos. What I've been taking a seat, we just got started, so this will be very useful. Absolutely. Um, most of you are virtual, as you can see, so nice to see someone in person. Now, the, what we were saying is short, the reason why short videos are so important is because Mark Zuckerberg owns Facebook and he owns Instagram, okay? So that means uh, whatever Mark Zuckerberg says is almost gospel when it comes to marketing, social media marketing, trying to have an understanding on these platforms and become dominant on it, making sure that your content is king. Now, he literally said, he literally said that right now, Instagram is going to be favoring, and as well as Facebook, Instagram reels over any other content. And that's because in the last quarterly report, Facebook actually had, for the first time, they didn't gain new members. And they lost some earnings. Uh, their stocks went down a little bit. And in response, Mark Zuckerberg said, we're going to be focusing more on Instagram Reels as we start uh, building up the metaverse. Uh, because it's the content that's doing the best. It's performing the best. More of our users are using, the, uh, uh, using that functionality more than the other types of posts. They're viewing that more. And actually, in the areas that initially embraced Instagram Reels, such as India, they actually saw a growth in membership. So needless to say, guys, short videos are king uh, and you absolutely want to embrace it. And that goes beyond social media as well, guys, okay? That also means YouTube Shorts is another way if you're looking to boost SEO. And SEO, guys, I'm sure you've heard that term before. It sounds like a buzzword. All that means is how well you're doing on Google, okay? If someone was to search you or search real estate in your neighborhood, how well you do on, on, on Google and search engines, okay? So let me know if you guys have any questions. That's why it's so important to focus on short videos. And I want every single person on here, and there's a lot of people, um, to embrace a style that works for you. And I'm gonna share some styles, okay? But the first thing to go into when creating your own video. And I know it can be shocking for a lot of people. And I know a lot of realtors here have never done a single video that has gone published on their page yet. And it's okay. So the first step is finding what style works for you, okay? What works for one person is not going to work for another. And there's so many different styles that you can embrace. But the more you start posting, the more natural it's going to be. The more content you start getting out there, the more you're going to act like yourself. And that's what's going to separate you from everybody else. And when we talk about the content, when we talk about specific copy, guys, it's super important to know that so many other realtors, they sound the same when it comes to writing, when it comes to language, okay? But video is where no one else is really going to sound like you, okay? You are unique. You have a voice. And Video is a great way of capturing that personality, that messaging. So we're going to go over a few different examples, okay, of different styles that I want you guys to consider adopting. Now, 
if you guys are feel comfortable speaking, have videos where you're putting your phone up, you're giving 30 to 60 seconds. And by the way, that's what a short video is. It's less than 60 seconds. On, a, and on average, they tend to be even less than 30 seconds. So I'm not talking about you know, major speeches here, okay? I'm not talking about webinars. This is about uh, getting a short message across, okay? Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, okay, beautiful. So let's say you feel comfortable speaking. Maybe you wanna have a quick update about the market or something that's happening in, in real estate today. So for example, right now we're all going through um, interest rate increases, okay? It's going up and it may go up as high as three times this year. So every time that happens, maybe a good opportunity to do a quick video and say, guys, interest rates are rising right now. They just rose again. It's still competitive. It's still historically low, but they're going to they're going to continue to go up. So if you're looking to capitalize on the hot market that real estate is experiencing right now, give me a call today so we can discuss options and see if the market is right for you. And that's it. That's the end of the video. Now, not everyone feels comfortable speaking in front of the camera. Not everyone feels comfortable with this with this uh, script or different thoughts that they may have. So that's where you want to experiment with different styles. Maybe you want to experiment with uh, dubbing with voices or with voiceover, or maybe you want to do comedic videos with music. And I'm going to give you some examples so it's not just abstract. Okay. So we're going to start off with some examples, and I think you guys are going to like. Uh, the different options. And here's the thing, a lot of content creators, they stick to one style and they master it and they don't have to diversify. Now, my personal recommendation is diversify a little bit, okay? But you don't need to, if you feel comfortable with one style, getting those videos out there is more important than not, okay? So we're gonna start off with a funny video. So first of all, let me screen share. Uh, one moment. Okay, so let me know guys in chat if you don't see this, um, if you don't see these videos, so I'm going to be pulling it up, one moment, okay. Now, do you guys see this or not? Just let me know in the chat if you see the video. One sec. Yes, you guys see it? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start playing these videos. Guys, let me know if you don't see it. Unmute yourself if you don't see these videos. Okay. So the first video is there's no speaking in this one, guys. Okay. It's it's captions with certain music, okay? So here we go. So as you can see, there was no words in that one. It was all music with certain captions, and they were able to get a funny message across, okay? Very cool. Now we're going to the next one. Now this one is humorous, and I think it speaks more to other realtors. Um, so here we go. Now that's funny. Now again, that speaks more to other realtors and other people in the industry, but it's funny and anyone who sees that is going to laugh and it's going to show your personality. And guess what, guys? Not a single word was said in that video, okay? Um, here's another one. I like this guy. He does so super well on 
on these platforms, it's gotten a lot of heat that is production value, it's nothing special, nothing whatsoever. My home improvement projects that I have Yes. So look at that, look how quick that was. All he did was, let's watch that again. Yes. So that's it. Incredible. And that's it. And look at he got hundreds of views. This guy does super well. I mean, I, I want to emphasize something, guys. Take a look at his, his reels, okay? And look at that. Nothing crazy. Look at these thumbnails, guys. Are, are there anything crazy? Is there anything you guys can't do? The little box with text on it, okay? You can literally use the Instagram uh, Reels creator to take a snapshot of it and use that or use Canva.com quickly. Um, and look at that. Now, let's, let's open one of these just to make a point about how easy it is. Guys, look, this guy, he's in this car right now. And I'm gonna make you fall. I Okay, so you get the idea. So let's move on to a different style. Now, this one is more speaking, okay? This, she does really well with, she just puts a camera in front and she right now we're in this trend of the absence of color. I've been in so many houses that are white trim, white walls, white ceiling. And everything in the house is white, which is pops of color. I think that paint can definitely give it your reflection. And maybe that's what makes it feel like cozy and comfortable because you painted it your favorite color, you decorated it with your favorite things, and now you're more drawn to that space in your house. And I think that it's great to move through the house one room at a time. And I also think that it's critical to live in the house for a while before you start making those types of changes. Right? So you see, you see that kind of video, guys, where she gives an opinion that goes a little bit outside of what you may read on a real estate blog, because that's her personal reflection after being in a lot of homes. And she's just airing out a little bit of frustration. She's saying, guys, the current trend is everything is white. The walls are white, the floors are white, the ceilings are white, every single room is white. And she's kind of bending a little bit and giving some different ideas and just giving some insight. And that's a little bit of a way to show your personality, your unique perspectives. It doesn't have to be limited to uh, certain facts that may exist. Like, so for example, yes, you don't need, uh, you don't need a down payment as high as 20%. That's a myth. Yes, many people are gonna hear those type of arguments, right? But something like this, you're not gonna see barely any types of videos like this. This is a perfect example of being completely unique, but speaking and having your voice be heard, okay? Does that make sense? So let's go to the next one. Okay, now I would really highly recommend following her, Stephanie Lungo, and she has an account with her husband. She kills it on Instagram Reels. If you're looking for someone, some inspiration of someone who, generates clients by posting on Instagram. This is literally someone that does it. And here's it. Now, what she does is a wider range of videos, okay? She'll do some videos where she's speaking. She'll do other videos where she's not saying a word. She'll do other videos where that has music and captions, okay? But here's an example of a point is being made, okay, red flags in real estate among agents, without having to say anything. Check this out. So you get the idea, guys. So who here can't nod their head or say no, right, Ben? Anyone can do that. Anyone can shake their head, right? And all you gotta do is put some captions after you upload the video. Instagram Reels has that functionality. Super, uh, super easy to do once you're on the app. Um, and you can do a video exactly like this, where all you're doing is shaking your head, saying no to certain things, 
and it could be like myths in real estate. You know, you need to put as high as 20% down up for a down payment. You can put as low as 3.5% with certain loans. Does that make sense, guys? And you can have some catchy music and make it your own. Okay. So these are just some different styles. I'm going to show some other ones as well. David, what's her name? Sure. Her name is Stephanie Longo, but her Instagram account is Bryce and Stephanie right here. The Thank you. I'm going to put it in the chat here. And I think I think this is how you spell her name. Let's say on, like, on YouTube or something. She, she, she has different types of videos on different platforms. Her TikTok looks different than her Instagram Reels. Her YouTube looks different than her Instagram. So she's actually a really good example of diversification and really going hard. And I can't recommend her enough because it's one thing to have just, look, views is great, right? Likes are great, right? But when you're generating clients from a platform, that separates it, in my opinion, completely. And that's, this is someone who does exactly that, okay? Fair enough, guys. Now, I know I'm doing a lot of you. Feel free to stop me at any point to answer some questions, okay? Here's an example of a guy. Here are six easy Instagram video ideas. You, now, this guy is an example of someone who just speaks to a camera and you'll get number them. one, quick answers. Research common real estate questions and answer them. Set your phone up on a tripod, and press record, and proceed to answer one after the next. Number two, pro tips. Share steps to take or mistakes to avoid when buying, selling, or investing. And give so see, he's someone who gives examples. He'll talk. He'll even put some effects on the, on the video. You don't have to go that far. I know most people here are not going to be putting any production effort. That's fine. Most of Instagram Reels, most of TikTok, they don't have production value uh, towards them, okay? They're just using the native app to create these videos. So speaking and making a point and talking about ways to do so. Or so for example, his example was phenomenal. Different mistakes that are common among, let's say, first-time buyers or first time sellers, right? So that's the type of content that you feel comfortable with. Start exploring and just put your camera up, uh, make sure it's steady, put it, lean it against something, record the video, make it 30 seconds, make it, make it 60 seconds, and you're good to go. Does that make sense? Now, I'm sure many of you, now let's go within our own office, right? Uh, John Corbicello is an example of someone in our office who uses Instagram Reels and uses it pretty powerfully. Now, we started uh, putting Instagram Reels a little while ago, but we've been picking up the pace a lot lately. Um, and I've been helping with different ideas and different thumbnails. And his, his Reels have been dominating, okay? The, they've been getting average between 1,000 to 4,000 views, okay? Super phenomenal. He just got a, a potential client uh, looking for a multifamily house at the end of last week, right after he uploaded a video. Okay, so again, this can generate leads, guys. That's the number one point of posting on social media, right? It's not just about brand awareness, which is super important. And yes, potential clients are going to look you up and they're going to make sure that you're active and that you have a background. But at the end of the day, the point is to also try to generate clients as well, right? And videos are the number one way to do so. And guys, when you're reaching more people that then are following you, that says something, okay? When Here's the thing. When we do nice posts, nice graphic posts, yeah, they reach a few hundred people, but they don't even reach the entirety of his audience. These videos, they reach a large portion of the people following you and so much more. So here is an example. And guys, look at the production value. He's in his car right now. This video, 77 likes, it has, let me just, let me, uh, I'm not signed in at the moment. Um, so I can't check, but I believe this video has like 3,500 views if I remember off the top of my head. So one moment, we'll just refresh this. Of course, it's taking a moment to load as we're doing this. Let me open it up a different one. Here we go. I'm just gonna log in real quick, guys, so we can watch this video.
Well, Seth, that is not a lot of us. Well, Seth, I apologize, guys. Okay, great. Sorry about that, friends. We'll go back into John's account, and now we're going to watch this video. We got one of our own agents utilizing it. For everybody, um, so everybody wants to know what do you do when the market crashes, when it tanks, when it levels? Um, because we know that's coming. The answer is very simple. You hold the property you have and you buy, buy, buy. You buy as much as you can. David, we can't see it. Oh, you can't see it? Okay, one sec. Thank you for that. You guys can't see it right now, right? One sec. Take a lot of Okay. Do you guys see it? Alicia, yes. You... yes. Okay, excellent. I'm going to restart that video. I'm so sorry about that. Again, this is one of the agents here who has 2,500 views. He just up uploaded this two oh, days ago. Well, guys. So let's restart it. And the, the video he's talking about is what to do if the market crashes, okay? If the real estate market crashes. Um, so everybody wants to know, what do you do when the market crashes, when it tanks, when it levels? Um, because we know that's coming. The answer is very simple. You hold the property you have, and you buy, buy, buy. You buy as much as you can with what you have. Keep in mind, a lot of guys that you see who have a lot of property, they didn't all make their money when times were good. Or they may have made money when times were good, but they hold on to it, and they swoop up property when the market levels off or tanks. Right? They buy for pennies on the dollar, they buy residential, they buy commercial, they buy portfolios. Um, and with all that's going on overseas, you guys know what I do with other companies. We're doing as much as we can help it out. But my investors have been calling me, just reminding me that they got the cash and that they're ready. If you know who you are, you have the cash. Cash is key. Bye, bye, bye. You guys see that? So look at that. He's in his car right now. He's, he's What's driving. That? You know what I mean? Anyone can do a video like that, okay? And here's the thing, he's answering a question that so many people are asking, right? Ben, you've heard that. What, what do I do if the real estate market crashes, right? So many people ask different things about real estate, right? What happens if the value of my home falls, right? Um, what happens if, uh, if I buy a home and it doesn't meet the appraisal, right? Um, is right now a good, what happens? What do I, how do I buy a house in the seller's market? Isn't it going to be, a, isn't it going to be hard for me to purchase a home? So these are good questions that, that, you know, that people ask and talk to your friends, talk to your family, talk about potential clients, go back in your memory bank. Think about what kind of commonly asked questions there are in this industry. And I'm telling you guys, that's a, a, a question I hear all the time. And there's a lot of other questions. I'm going to show you another video because John has been killing it. And it's someone, like I said, just generated a client from this. And I think this was the video. All right, so today I'm up at 4 a.m. I'm doing some work. I hit the gym and on the way home, I noticed I had a flat tire. So I pulled over, I got my compressor out of the back door of my trunk, pulled my tire up, and pulled down to my local gas station. I do have a tire pack in the trunk, by the way. I just didn't feel like doing it. So if I was on my way to an appointment, I would have pulled that back, took the tire off, patched it up, went on my way. I showed up to my appointment. Maybe five or ten minutes late, probably not even because I'm always early. Happen into your brokers, big fancy cars, and if something like this happens, the rest of your day is done. Your clients lose. God forbid it happens in the early part of the day, and you miss your whole day waiting on the side of the road. Because you guys are not prepared for what's up ahead. Remember, you've got to be prepared for everything, not just how your sites work real quick, or your little MLS real quick. You gotta be ready to adapt and move. Does that make sense, guys? And look at that. He was just telling the story, okay? In this case, it didn't really have to do about real estate. It had more to do with preparing for something unexpected, right? 
What happens if your uh, tire has a flat and you're going to a client meeting? Well, John was telling a story about, well, he has different tools in his trunk in case something happens. He's going to make sure that he's at that meeting. And guess what? Someone messaged him as a result of this video. And it doesn't surprise me because when someone watches this video, what I think is he's someone who's prepared. He's someone who's not going to let the client down. Okay. He's someone who thinks things through and is not only going to do that when it comes to making appointments, but he's going to do that for things related to deals, related to the business, related to his job. So that video is super powerful. And if you guys have different tips and tricks that keep you in check, that makes sure that you are helping others to the fullest capacity, right? Do a quick video and tell those stories, right? Let's say you're a mom or a dad, you wake up, you have to wake up at 5.30 every morning, right? To make sure that you get some light reading and about real estate before you have to prepare breakfast for the kids, right? Make a quick video about that. Say, guys, this is my routine. Every day I wake up at 5.30 a.m. to read some articles about real estate. So I'm helping you the fullest because by seven o'clock, I have to stop. I have to make kid, uh, breakfast for the kids, get them ready for school, and then I have to start going with my day. So guys, what do you do every day to get prepared for uh, what you're doing in your job? Do you read in the morning? Do you meditate uh, in the afternoon? Uh, do you listen to a podcast? Leave a comment below on different things you do to prepare. And that's an example of, you know, capitalizing on your life events, your stories, your routines. These are things you can share, okay? And just to emphasize it, guys, look at this. He was in his office. Hey guys, we're making a quick video. Some videos without a single word being said, right? Some are completely um, music based or caption based, or, or, you know, they're funny, right? Others, they're speaking to the camera. They have a point to say, right? You want your, uh, you want your personality to shine and to show, okay? That's the, the entire point of this. You want to make sure that you're active. You want to make sure that it's relevant to the people who are listening, okay? So, Think about what kind of almost like an avatar. Who do you want to be on video, right? And try to get those videos out there, okay? So that's super important. Can I emphasize that enough? And it doesn't just, it's not limited to just capturing who you are, okay, guys? It's not limited to that. It's, let's say you have a new listing or a showing, okay? That's a perfect opportunity to get even more of views, get even more exposure. And guess what? It may even help sell a listing. It may bring in new buyers to this property that you that weren't going to see it otherwise. Because again, the algorithm is favoring these type of videos. And let me show you an example of that. Pull it up. I love this one. So this is a great video, a perfect example of using real estate. Let me pull it up. Beauty. Now, this has no words. It's just music and it's showing the stove, right? Now, the caption is, can you guess the price of the stove? It's a nice stove, right? And I remember when I saw this video, I was like, that's a good question. I wonder how much. So immediately, I went to the comments to see what other people thought. And there's so many comments, and I don't blame them because I, too, wanted to know how much that stove was. Look how many people are guessing. Look at that. There's a lot of people making their, their thoughts clear as to most of these, blah, blah, blah. But there's a lot of people who are giving their opinion, okay? And that increases engagement. And guess what? When there's engagement, the video is going to do even better, okay? And it's not just limited to small little cool things like that. Let's say you have an open house, okay? 
and you have 10 families show up that day. Not a bad open house, okay? Maybe you'll get an offer or two out of there. But if you do an Instagram Reels, you walk through that home, okay? And you upload it, and then you even share it the different Facebook groups that's relevant, okay? And guess what? You just expanded the amount of families who visited your open house from 10 people to 1,000 people to 2,000 people, okay? Now it became a real banging open house, okay? And if you tag the right people, if you share it in the right groups, you're going to share it among the right people that's going to generate a buyer, that's going to generate interest, that's going to increase exposure, okay? So it's not just limited to pushing your brand or getting a message out there. You want to use it for listings, for rentals, for, for uh, you know, new listings that you're trying to get buyers for. And guys, it's not even limited to that. Let's say you're a buyer's agent, okay? I know some of you guys are. Beautiful. Let's say you go into a great home that's stunning, okay? Take a quick reel, or let's say you see a beautiful view, okay? Let's say you go to the backyard, there's a nice deck, you see nice trees, or maybe it's a, a nice pool, or whatever it may be. Maybe it's the New York City landscape, okay? If it's in the Fort Lee area. Beautiful. Take a 10 second reel and show off that scenery. And, and then maybe you want to do that. And that's its own video. Maybe you do a second video with some words over it and saying, guys, one of the number one things I love about New Jersey are the different views available. Check out this view and you show off the view. Boom, that's a reel. And it can get so many views and so much exposure. Now, one thing I want to emphasize, guys, is you're not going to get thousands of views probably your first video. You might. An example of that is Bitline. Now, uh, we just did a video from Matt Arakello, who's another agent here. This video, guys, 2,200 views. He got over a thousand views in the first 10 minutes. The buyer has that you might need to put 20% down. Some loan officers, especially loan officers, I've worked with many different programs where you put 15%, 10%, even as low as 3.5% if you're using an FHA loan. When you work with a realtor like me, I align myself with some of the best lenders in the state. So reach out today if you're looking to get free approval. Boom, that's it, okay? And he got actually 2,000 views. But here's the thing the truth of the matter is, that's because he's been posting, a, aside from reels, he's been posting a lot. Vinny, you're a guy who posts a lot. I'm sure your reels will do get a lot of views because you're out there. You're posting a lot, right? There's people, uh, the algorithm will reward you if you're posting a lot. So most likely your first video isn't going to get as many views as guys like Matt or guys like John. But here's the thing. The more you post, and it won't be that many, the more you post, the better it's going to do, okay? And you want to look at the analytics. And I always mention this about any type of content. Tim the bump. Take a look at the analytics and see what kind of videos are doing the best, okay? That's what we were doing with John. We were looking at the different types of videos and different types of posts and seeing which type of content was doing the best and which ones weren't doing so hot. And we're now focusing more on the type of content that people want to see. Okay, and that's super important, uh, super relevant. Okay, now I want to show one more thing. I'm going to. Guys, do you see this image or no? Comment in the chat if you see this image. Should you see Batman? Blank. Okay, one second. I'm just going to share it into. All right. Are you guys seeing these different? Do you see Batman now? Okay, excellent. So I'm going to show you guys just practically some of the different ways, uh, one of the ways to create an Instagram reel, okay? Um, so when you open up your app, okay, you're gonna you can scroll down. You can see different uh, posts. You can see stories on the top. If you click this plus, okay, you can create a post. You can create a reel, a live. Oh, okay, I apologize. One second.
Do you guys see it? Okay, excellent. So once, okay, so once you're in, like I said, the like, I'm sorry, the heart is where you can check your notifications. This little button is where you can check your messages. Now this, when you click the plus button, there's gonna be a drop down that appears, okay? Live videos are cool, not many people do it. It can be very stressful in the sense that there isn't any editing, right? So we'll skip that for the moment. Stories, I'm sure most of you guys know what a story is. It's a temporary post that lasts for a little bit, right? It lasts for about 24 hours. It's a great idea to have like a poll. It's a great way to generate leads that way. Now, a reel is what we're focusing on right now, okay? When you press a reel, that camera immediately opens that allows you to record, okay? So let me screen share the other, video, the other photo I have. It is... Great. So when you click real, okay, when you click that button real, you may have to click this button to reverse the camera so it's facing you. It may be facing the other direction, but this is what's going to pull up, okay? This is what's going to appear. It's going to be you. You know, it's going to be moving because it's a video. Now, when you click this button, recording begins, okay? And you can actually do multiple parts, which, which is very cool. So if you press this button, it records. When you, when you hit it again, it stops. When you press it again, it does part two of the video. So you can do multiple parts uh, in a really cool way. Does that make sense? So right there, you're able to do multiple parts of the same video. But again, remember one thing, Instagram Reels, is only less than 60 seconds, okay? Less than 60 seconds. Okay, one moment, friends. Share. One sec, guys, I just want to share the other photo. Okay, so now once you're done recording, you're given different options, okay? And in those options, hello, hello. Okay. So right on the top, you can see different options to add different things, okay? Now I added text here, and the way I did that was by clicking this button. So let me rehash that again. Once you're done recording, okay, you press next. Your video will be on loop in the background here. This allows you to add things on top of the video. Okay, does that make sense, Ben? Does that make sense? So you can add things to the video. Right here, you can add music. And you can actually, what's cool about this button right here is you can control how loud you want the music versus how loud you want your own uh, voice to be in the video. So very cool, I love that feature. Here, you can add like a button. And the different buttons can be like different graphics, different templates that Instagram has access to. Cool, very cool to play around with. I would search different stuff. And then here is where you can add text. Okay. So that's where, remember, we were watching some of the different videos where people are, you know, they have different captions on the videos, that kind of thing. That's how we did it. Uh, that's how those people do it is by doing things like this. Okay. Now, once you press upload, that's it. You want to make sure that you're using certain hashtags along with the post. Okay. So make sure that the caption supports the video. 
and use specific hashtags to speak to exactly who you're trying to speak to, okay? So let's say you're interested in working with first-time buyers. Use as many first-time buyer hashtags and try to think about what their demographic is, okay? Where do a lot of first-time buyers live in? Well, a lot of them live in different cities. They're trying to move to the suburbs. A lot of them live in New York, for example. They're trying to move to New Jersey. So target those different towns. Target those different areas. It's going to make a difference, okay? Tag a different friends, different uh, com communities that you may know, different influencers that are connected to those type of people that you're trying to speak with. And guys, this is a great opportunity. Let's say you're bilingual, just an example. Speak another language to your target audience, okay? Because chances are, if you're bilingual, the people who speak your native language or whatever other language you may know, they probably are not spoken to that often and you can cater a message directly to them, okay? And that goes for anything. Let's say you're a mom, you wanna to speak to the worries and the problems and different solutions that are available for moms, okay? If you're a dad, it goes the same way, okay? Right, Ben, you're a dad, you have different issues that other people like me, they don't have yet, right? So it's a good opportunity of saying, guys, are you a parent and you're looking for the right school districts? I know how frustrating that can be as a parent. You wanna live in the right neighborhood. You wanna make sure that you're close to either uh, public transportation or to your work. But, at this, but the most importantly, you wanna make sure that you're in a town with the best school district possible. Reach out today for a list of the best school districts in North Jersey, okay? That's an example of a video that you guys can do, okay? So you want to speak directly to the different types of problems that your target audience is having. You want to speak with them in a way that other people are not speaking to, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. This now. now guys, let's talk about, and uh, we'll end it on this note, is different content ideas, okay, that you can be posting for uh, when it comes to short videos, which is super important. Number one, if you're starting out or you're posting, you know, let's say for the first time or you haven't been posting in a while, doing a, a quick recap video and saying, hey guys, my name is Dave. I actually do marketing. Here, let's, say, let's pretend I'm a realtor. Hey guys, my name is Dave. I'm a realtor. In case you guys didn't know that I help New Jersey and New York buy, sell, rent real estate. I actually have a five-star review across all platforms. I helped dozens of families. Um, and it's super important to work with someone who has experience under their belt because there's so many nuances in real estate. Reach out today if you have any questions or to see if the market is right for you, right? You can do a nice quick recap video, but now let's say you're trying to get more into it, right? Some ideas are, again, speaking to your target audience, right? Common mistakes sellers make, okay? Or three common mistakes first time buyers make, okay? Or maybe it's a market prediction, okay? For example, hey guys, I just wanna give a quick market update with the economy going up and down and stock markets going up and down. Real estate has been pretty stable and it's been very hot for the last two years. Property values have gone up so much. According to NewJersey.com, last year, homeowners saw an average of $100,000 increase in their homes alone. That's a major, substantial increase. What other stock can you think has that kind of return? So guys, real estate has so many returns. It is such a great industry. If you want to learn more, follow the page. You get the idea, right? And maybe you want to answer different questions that you may have, okay? Maybe it's, for example, what do I do if the market crashes? Well, you can say something along the lines of, well, if you look at history, the, the course of uh, numbers and graphs, on average, home values always exceed their prior highs. So what should you do? You should hold if you have property, if you're able to. The idea is you want to hold it until the property values go up to that point. And eventually, according to averages, it always exceeds all-time highs. So real estate is the give that kid keeps on giving as long as you don't sell for a loss. That would be my recommendation, okay? So I know I'm throwing a lot at you guys. Does anyone have any questions?
please. Great, 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 great question. So in case you guys couldn't hear, she was asking, what are the best times to post, okay? Now it changes every day, believe it or not, but roughly, okay, roughly during the week, nine o'clock is not bad. 10 o'clock can be pretty great. 11 o'clock, I actually love that time, okay? Love posting at 11 o'clock a.m. is a great time. Lunchtime is a great time. Then after that, um, three o'clock can be okay. And then you look at six o'clock is a great time, okay? Now, on days like Friday, I would recommend not posting any time after 12, by recommendation, okay? Um, for some reason, when it comes to Friday, <laughs> The later the day, the worse it becomes, okay? People just wanna get off of platforms, I guess, at the end of a long week, okay? On the weekend, tends to be like early midday, but again, what I've personally noticed, the posts about your personal brand don't do as well on the weekends, but posts about listings do so well on the weekend. They do so well on the weekend. So. You know, it changes based on the different days, but generally speaking, that's a little bit of a, of a calendar, a schedule that you guys can rely on. And again, one thing I really emphasize, that's like a blueprint, right? But you want to look at the analytics at the end of the day, at the end of the month, you know, post, right? And then you want to see which times are working based on your audience. And sometimes you can be surprised, right? Because I follow all of, you know, what science says, right? There's studies on the best times that post. But there's certain clients where I look at the algorithm and I look at the results, I look at the data, and it doesn't always line up with that, you know? So see what your audience is, but those would be my recommended times to start experimenting, to start posting, and you're gonna get a lot of views that way. You know what I mean? Does anyone have any other questions? Feel free to ask any other questions if you have any as well. Okay. Okay, guys, so um, I'm going to let you guys feel free to type in this chat with any questions you may have as we start wrapping this up. But I'm going to end it with a few quick different notes. Hopefully, this class was uh, valuable for all of you. But number one, guys, is the reason why we're doing an entire class on short videos, right, is because the algorithm prefers short videos, okay? It's not just a theory, it's not a hypothesis. It's fact. Mark Zuckerberg, who owns Facebook, or owns Instagram, has literally said the algorithm is going to prefer reels, which is short videos, okay? TikTok only works with short videos, okay? YouTube introduced YouTube shorts, which a lot of people who have been using have been capitalizing on that and getting some major gains, okay? So I cannot emphasize the, the different short video uh, to use for your business, whether it's for listings, whether it's for your personal brand, whether it's for a Q&A, whatever way you use it, it's super important. Number two, don't feel like you're stuck on a certain style, okay? You don't have to be that guy who's speaking in front of a camera, although if that's the kind of guy you are, do it. You could be someone who is doing it with music or different captions or different subtitles or maybe, you know, that voiceover that TikTok offers. There's different ways, different styles, like the ones I showed you, uh, that you guys can, can adapt. So ask yourself, and it's a good uh, little bit of homework for this week. By Friday is my recommendation. Ask yourself, what style fits me and what video should I do next? And by Friday, you should have a style. And then by Monday, you should have a video ready to go and to upload, okay? So that's my challenge to you guys is to certainly do that, I think it's gonna help a lot. Now, number three is the different types of content to post, okay? You wanna to speak to who you're speaking to. You wanna answer questions that people wanna hear answers to, okay? Gather inspiration. Look up the top realtors on Instagram Reels, the top realtors on TikTok, and look at the kind of content that they're posting. You don't need to necessarily reinvent the wheel. I'm not saying to copy them, but Take some of their ideas and, and expand on it and see what your own personal take is, okay? Look at the different myths that are prevalent in real estate, okay? Talk about different stories. If you have any funny stories, share it, okay? So many of you guys have such unbelievable stories that someone who goes into as many homes as you do, 
you know, you guys, I'm sure, have some really funny ones. Share that. If you're humorous, be funny. Does that make sense? So not only that, guys, you want to bring people into your video. I recommend creating a story every time you make a video. And it could be a poll, okay, relevant to um, the video you're doing. So, for example, when we were showing John's video about what to do if the real estate market crashes, right? We made a poll right before that video asking, are you, do you have a plan in place if the real estate market crashes? And over 50% of people who voted on that video said no. So guess what? It was a natural funnel. And by the under that poll, we said, after done voting, make sure you check out the recent video. And it served as a funnel to bringing in a lot of views to that video, which again, has thousands of views and most of his videos do. So guys, it works. It can bring in clients. It can work for every single person in this room, I promise. Every single person, whether you're in person here or on Zoom, it can work. You can find a style that works for you and you can grow your business by doing it. You know, start by doing, you know, two videos for the first week, okay? Nothing crazy. And again, it's under 60 seconds. Make it fun and don't overthink it because there's going to be so many that are coming up. All right. So, guys, um, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll hang on for another minute. But if not, again, thank you so much. And I hope this was valuable to you guys. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course. How can I make a video like when I show a house, for example? The house is going to take more than six seconds to make a video. How can I do best workshop and back to? No great, great, great question. How can I this? Great question. So when you so his question, guys, in case um you couldn't hear, he was asking, what if the home was so large, right? And you can't fit it in 60 seconds and you want to show off the house, right? It's a few different things to do it depending on how much time you have, right? Um, number one, if you go on Google and you type in speed up video. There's ways that you can upload videos and it'll speed it up for you, right? You can kind of set it up that way. Let's say you don't have that time, right? Let's say you're in the house, you're busy, you're trying to do it. My recommendation is now, um, when I pulled up the, the Instagram reel that I had to do, you saw that button that allows you to do different parts. I would make, I would do a highlight reel, the best part of the house. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you, you, you record, you stop, you go to the next part of the house that you like. Cord, you stop, you make sure you done under 60 seconds, but at least it's a nice highlight reel, right? And then here's what I would recommend. Upload a longer video that's not a reel right after that. Does that make sense? Right. For anyone who wants to learn more, it could be the hook, right? So there's two things that you guys can do that to answer that question. Number one, if you, if you have time, go on Google, uh, look up a, a free online uh, website that can convert your video into a faster video. And there's websites that will do that. I believe it's completely for free. Um, number two, make it a highlight reel um, where you're only getting the best parts of the house and then feel free to create a longer video for anyone who wants to learn more. Okay? Thank you. Fair enough? Fair enough. Any other questions, guys? While you still have me? I'm going to give you another minute just in case. I see you guys are still here. But if not, feel free to reach out if you guys have any questions whatsoever. All right, guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you have any questions in the future. Thank you.